access to MTSS 6 is found by logging into the hub. Elementary classroom teachers who log into MTSS 6 see their student roster on the left-hand side of the screen. Secondary classroom teachers see a roster of students for their entire team. Both elementary and secondary specialists, as well as administrators, see a list of active students for the buildings in which they serve, in addition to a student search box, allowing them the opportunity to search for any child in the building. The following will provide the directions for completing the documentation and requesting a meeting for a new concern area. Select the paper with the plus icon in front of the student's name. Next, select the concern area. You will notice only the concern areas which haven't previously been identified for the child appear in the drop-down list. Then you will describe the concern. Keep your description brief and factual and support the description with appropriate data. Be careful about using opinion and do not use other students' names. Next, you will describe what types of things you have done to support the child regarding this concern as part of your Tier 1 instruction. Communication with parents and guardians is critical to the MTSS process, which is why the Fargo Public Schools expects guardians would be notified about the concern prior to a team gathering to meet regarding the child. In many cases, parents or guardians have insight which will help the team plan for the child, and they may be noticing a similar concern at home. Indicate the date the guardian was contacted by selecting the calendar icon and submit the name of the person who made the contact. There is also a spot to indicate the guardian's reaction or response to the contact. If, at any point in this process, you would like to stop and save your work, you may do so by selecting the Save button and closing the window. This will save your work so that you can return to it at another time. If you have completed the documentation and you are ready to meet on the student, mark the Schedule Meeting box. For elementary teachers, when this box is marked, and you select Save, an automatic email will be sent to the members of your MTSS leadership team who are responsible for scheduling meetings. As the meeting requester, you too will receive an automatic email confirmation of the request. The elementary staff responsible for scheduling will then be able to review the schedule and determine which dates are available for meetings. They will communicate with you the best date and time for the meeting and a decision will be made together. For secondary teachers, because your teams operate differently when you select the schedule meeting box and then save, you will be given permission to select a meeting date for your team meeting. You will want to watch the clip called Scheduling Meetings to view your next steps. If at any time you would like to review the work that you have completed regarding the new concern, find the student in your student roster and select that area of concern. At this point, you will see in the blue section everything you have completed. Once the members of the MTSS leadership team have decided on a meeting date, the space next to the first meeting will be populated with the selected date. 